Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial will be covering class fusion. And let me go ahead and show you how that works. Alright, so as you can see here, we have our little system here. Uh, you can select fuse, but we don't know the recipe yet, so we are unable to, uh, to unlock it. Now, you can change your class here, but as you can see, we don't have that class unlocked yet. Uh, change the mage if you want to. But, in order to unlock the recipe, you need to first get the recipe. Then after you have it, you can actually unlock it by using it right here, but it costs 20 points. As you can see, we don't have 20 points. So let's go to the king here. Get 99 fusion points. Let's go ahead and unlock it. So we unlock the arch hero class, and we became that class just now, uh, as you can see. And let's uh, go to the change class, and there he is. You can see the arch hero is now selectable. Now let's unlock the other class here. The hero plus mage, which, uh, which would make the magic hero. As you can see, we became the magic hero now. And it is now selectable. They're here. So then, how this is done is actually not really too advanced. There's pretty much no scripting involved. So the very first thing you want to do is go to common events. And you want to make it a, com a common event called check. Uh, make the trigger none. Next, we want to control variables. If you don't understand variables, um, then you can watch the video about variables. The link in this would be in the description. Uh, so, we need to we need to make uh, five variables here. You, you would make more depending on however many classes you have, but we need to make fusion points. We need to make fusion recipe one, fusion recipe two. And again, if you have more, you would keep going before you make these. Just remember that. Uh, your variables will likely be a lot different than mine. Um, then we're, uh, when you're done with your recipes, you're going to need to make unlock variable. Uh, okay, I, I named it MG, uh, standing for uh, magic, and then hero, so magic hero unlocked, art, uh, art hero unlocked, you can name it whatever you want, just make sure that it represents the class that you're trying to unlock. So we're going to set recipe 1 equal to script, and then the quotes, uh, we're just going to put quotes and we're just going to type a message saying recipe not found. Do know that text events will not work in this, so you can't like color the text and all that in different spots and whatnot. Next, we're going to set recipe 2 to the same thing, and then the unlocked classes, we're going to set simply to class not unlocked. Uh, do that for all the classes that you make. Uh, class fusions or whatever that you want to make. Now we're going to use the conditional branch, and so we're going to check and see if you have an item called Magic Hero Recipe. Uh, and if you do, then it, then it, um, it changes the recipe name from re Recipe Not Found to uh, Hero Plus Mage, which is the classes that, are, that will be fused, and however many points you want it to cost, in this case 20. Now, we're going to do, uh, par if Party has the Arch Hero Recipe, basically, uh, these are all items, so if you have the Magic Hero Recipe item, or if you have the whatever class uh, item would be required, in this case, for Arch Hero, you would need the Arch Hero Recipe, then we, um, we change the Recipe to to uh, the name of the same thing we did earlier. Now we're going to check and see if the switch Magic Hero is on. And then we're going to have another conditional branch to check and see if um, Arch Hero is on. And if you've already unlocked the class, what we're going to do is we're going to change um, the text that says that it's already unlocked. And then we're going to turn, uh, we're going to turn the Hero unlocked, uh, we're going to set it equal to Magic Hero. And then set do the exact same thing for uh, the other one, except just change the name to whatever class that you had. The items are set up like this. As you can see, we have the Magic Hero Recipe and the Arch Hero Recipe. They're not consumable, occasion is never, and they're a key item, and the scope is none. The event is set up like this. First, you're going to tint the screen. Um, it's going to be, the duration is going to be 30, and you're just going to tint it uh, to whatever color you want. You don't have to tint it, but kind of makes it look a little bit better. Now we're going to call the common event check. We're going to make a label called start. Now we're going to uh, have some text here that just basically um, displays your fusion points. If you don't understand text uh, events and stuff, then you can watch the other video that's also in the description. The link will be in the description as well. I mean, um, now we're going to show some choices. Fuse, change class, or close. When fuse, you make a label called fuse and you call the common event check again. This is actually very important because once you unlock it, uh, you can unlock it multiple times unless you call uh, the check common event again. Now we're going to do uh, show some text. We're just going to copy the exact same message here so it's, it shows up on all uh, choices. Now we're going to show choices. Uh, we're going to do backslash v2 
which will display the second variable, uh, in other words, the combination required. The re it's going to show the recipe. Uh, the third variable, which is the next recipe, and so on and so forth. And then if you select uh, slash v2, which in this case would be the magic hero, we're going to check and see if magic hero is off, and check the else branch. Next, we're going to select um, another conditional branch, and we're going to check and see if fusion points is greater than or equal to 20. And also check the else. Now, <laughs> we're going to check and see if you have the magic recipe in your inventory. You're, gonna, you're still going to check the else thing. Now, we're going to show some text saying that you've unlocked the class, and uh, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, change the class now. And when yes, change the class to magic hero, text appears. Uh, you change the character's graphic, and you change the character's class. When no, nothing happens. And at the very end, uh, at the end of this part, you want to change very, you want to subtract your magic points by 20 in this case, because it costs 20 to, to, to fuse this class. And you want to turn the switch magic hero on. Then you want to jump to the label fuse. On the first else area, you want to select, uh, you want to play a sound effect, the buzzer sound, and you want to jump to the label fuse. On, and do the exact same thing on the second else. And then on the third else, you just want to show some text saying that you've already unlocked it. And then you want to jump to label fuse again. Do the exact same thing for however many other classes you have, as you can see here. Just change what's necessary, such as the character's graphics, the text, and the conditional branches to check and see which items and switches are on and you have and whatnot. Now then, to change class, you're going to make a, cho uh, you're going to make a label called choice. And we're going to show some text again. We're just going to copy that same uh, line of text. And you're going to show some choices depending on how many um, classes that you have available. You, know, you can make a more option if you wanted to. Um, and this right here is just a small text event to change the color and display variables 4 and 5, which in my case is the unlocked version. Um, again, if you have more classes, your variables are not going to be the exact same number as mine. So, um, but I'm showing the first unlocked one, which is the um, Magic Hero class, and then I'm showing the second one right here, which is the Arch Hero class. So when you choose hero, it says, show some text that says you change the hero, changes the character's graphic and his class, and it jumps to the label choice. Same thing with mage and archer. Now the fusion class is you need to do a conditional branch. You're going to do a conditional branch to see if magic hero is on. Uh, and check the else branch as well. If it is, it simply says you've switched to the magic hero, changes the graphic in your class, and it jumps to the label choice. Else, it plays a buzzer sound and then jumps to the label choice. And the same exact setup is for all the other fusion classes that you have or haven't unlocked. And at the end, just jump to label start. At the very after after uh, all your choices are up, um, just jump to label start for whenever you hit the cancel button. And there you go. That's all it takes. Oh yeah, um, when you're making choices though, do make sure that you you do update your uh, canceled choice because otherwise it's just going to be defaulted to two. And then at the very end of it, you can uh, tint the screen back to normal as well. But that's how you make a class fusion system. <laughs> so I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.